Hello, this is Saifuddin. Welcome to my video. In this video, I will show you how to use the page numbering in the Microsoft Word. Also, I will show you how to use the page numbering in the Google Docs. So, also, in the page numbering, I will show you how to use different types of style in the page numbering. So, let's go to the screen. So this is a Microsoft document. This Microsoft document you should go to the insert section and uh, in the beginning you will have this section and let's go to the insert and here's an option you will find which is page numbering. So here's a different different style you can use like if we go to the top page top of page then here's a different different design you can use let's we can use this one okay so here's you notice that and page numbering came up here so if you go to the uh, in second page like spacing then you will see that uh, the page is numbering two and one word it will go to the next and next okay so if we want to change the the numbering the the page numbering in different uh, design then we can do that very easily like we can do the numbering in middle the right side and in this way in this way here's a different different style you can use it depends on you okay also just one more thing i would like to add here that if you want to edit manually then you should click double click over here or else it won't come up and also if you want to go to the next next where actually is the body part where you are going to write something then you should also double click over here okay so you I hope you understand that where you can easily numbering the pages also in the bottom here is a different different style you can use like uh, we see in the book or in different uh, document they normally use these types of uh, uh, these types of page numbering style so you can use this style very easy like this one okay so also if you go to the next page then you will see the next numbering will come up over here okay so here's some also different different style like page margin you can use also the current position you can use also you can format the page number very easily so i'm not going to that part just you can use if you want to remove the page numbering like say for example you don't want this then let's go to the page number again and remove page number just click over here and the page number will be removed from here now i will show you how to use the page numbering in google docs so it is actually very easy but Google Docs have not as much as design like uh, the MS Word but when you are using the Google Docs you will need some assistance in page numbering then you can use this let's go to the insert so here's an option page number so if you want to if you use this it means the page, the number one page will will be counted the page number one but if you use uh, like the second one it means the first page own ca count as the page number one it means that page number two will be counted the number one page so say for example this one the first page didn't count over here okay so at the in same way if you want to show the page number in bottom then it also the same that uh, if you use this one, it means the page number one is counting and if you use this one, the number one page is not counting. So, the, and, the, and another thing which I would like to inform here as well is that if you want to edit the header part, then you may need to double click over here. Or if you do not click double click, that you won't be able to edit the header section. So if you want to move the body section again, then you must double click over here. Okay. 
and if you want to customize something like the page count like how many pages are over there then you can do that very easily or if for if say for example you were in the page number 15 but you don't know what the page number is then you can just simply click over here and just the page count then you will see that the present page will be counted what's the number is what's the page number is exactly so that's all about actually the page numbering in the microsoft word and google docs so i hope you understand if you have any question then please keep me posted uh in the comment section just leave me a message i will get back to you as soon as possible so last i would request you if this video is helpful for you then please do me a favor subscribing my channel and give me a thumbs up and uh, i will see you in an another video thanks for watching